one with the Dutch. You get out of the car when the bridge goes up. I'm getting a stretch in. <laughs> and there's the bridge. Good. You should get up. It was nice. <laughs> Chilling on the highway. <laughs> While we're on the side of the road, <laughs> welcome to our latest YouTube video. <laughs> we're back, baby. We are back. We are going to, where are we going? The tulip fields in beautiful Holland. We are so excited. We're finally able to go to the Holland tulip field. So come with us. We're going to Krugenhof and we're super excited. Got the day off and now mm -hmm. we're chilling on the highway. It's actually pretty nice out. So here we go. The first sighting. Are you so excited? Let's go see some flowers. I'm so excited. Our map. <laughs> Overwhelmed, Mitch. So many flowers. I don't even know where to go. It's all so beautiful. It's like we're in a movie. incredible it smells like I would Unreal. say I mean this is up there with the Christmas market smells like yeah, it is sure. so it smells so good and it is like breathtaking I feel like I can't do you guys justice I'm really trying like to get good videos of the flowers but like is it not breathtaking every every turn you take every turn you take and he's not even like a big flower guy but like I mean it is just so breathtaking everywhere it's beautiful wild looking you're wild looking. I know. <laughs> Fresh strawberries. Oh my goodness. No, Alright, official strawberry review. Oh, those are very sweet. Very sweet. Alright, I'm going for this one. Those are so good. Jack Russell. 10 out of 10.
Mitch is on a one-way mission. He found a croquette stand, and if you watched our last video, you know. If you know, you know. How excited are you? <laughs> Beef croquette. croquette. Let me see it. Mm. Compared to your pastrami? A close second. A close second. Nothing beats the pastrami. On to the next. Never food. a day without. <laughs> this is Mitch's favorite. They're like deep purple, like almost black. It's so pretty. bike riding <laughs> My hair's windblown. I'm sweating. My legs are tired. There's hardly any flowers because of the season that we're in and the weather. I had a little weekend late. But we found one field. So let's go. gonna make it there at the end it was a long bike ride it was a long bike ride i would recommend like that was the only thing that i wish that there were more of were more tulips in the tulip fields but that's just the make time sure that we came yeah. make sure you time it up when you come uh the i would say are... early april honestly because like they're kind of gone now but a hundred ten thousand percent recommend the actual krugenhof cool. if i'm saying it correctly was Phenomenal and then the tulip fields are really cool too, but I I just in my head was wanting like more colors and stuff But you can't get you're working with mother nature here. So It was really fun. I would definitely recommend going and it really wasn't all that expensive. I think our tickets were like $22 each and then like for the bike it was like $11 so for a full day I would say the only expensive thing is the food there it was pretty expensive I mean, it's comparable to like Disney food prices. So but worth it what was your favorite part? Favorite part? I don't know. All the flowers are really cool. I like the food just because I'm a big food guy. But I would say probably the bikes. The, the bikes? Yeah, the bikes. At the, at the very end. I feel like a local. We did pass by a couple more that had some more um, color in them, and it was really cool. It made it worth it. because The road was cool because I haven't seen We were going before. uphill for a second, and I was like, all right, I don't know about this. <laughs> But yeah, it was really cool, and we hope you guys enjoyed it. We hope you guys, if you come to Holland, visit Krugenhof because it's really cool. And make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. See you guys.